using some of the electric uh, appliances. This is Frank Patania Jr. Not the most exciting part of the job. Who I've never heard of before till yesterday. And now he's on TV. This was really coming out of what was called the American Studio Movement. It began in the 40s, late 40s, going on through mid 60s, 70s. Uh, Julie is, is shown in a different vein than it's ever been done before. It's architectural, it's strong, it's big. It's bold. You didn't need to add expensive jewels or materials to heighten what the piece was. The decision to work in the family business was not as clear cut as the third link in the Patani chain. I've been involved full time since the uh, middle 50s, but I've really been involved all my life. So um, it was sort of sad for me to think of having to start closing things down. You know, when it, you decided to continue, then that was wonderful. It's a variation of my grandfather's design. I started making them narrower and putting stones on them. And this time I'm going to put a big amethyst on there. So I have a lot to draw from design-wise and with my dad and my grandfather. I see his work um, closely related to his grandfather. For his grandfather, stones were very important. Um, the choices, the mixing, the blends. His grandfather worked visually, kind of compiling and putting things together. The Patanias are gaining local and national attention. A show held at the Tucson Museum of Art featured the three, and the Smithsonian's Renwick Gallery in Washington, D.C. has acquired three bracelets done by each of the Patanias. That's the piece you showed me. Well, you showed me a brooch. That's a cuff. The, uh, the show at the Tucson Museum of Art and, uh, and the, the Smithsonian, it's, it's just uh, we're developing people who are collecting our work and getting out there and getting noticed for that. It's very pleasing to know that the Smithsonian is interested enough in our work to have a piece of each of our my dad's mine and my getting a piece for the in their collection. So, yes, that's very people like us. We consider it a very high honor. In addition to the notoriety, another high honor is reworking jewelry into beloved family Hi, keepsakes. This is the wedding ring of a recently deceased. I have a customer. ring like that. His ring will be transformed into jewelry for several generations of his family. His memory is to be worn. And I think that's the real strength of jewelry, the real power of jewelry is something that it's, it's enduring. It, uh, just because of the materials, it's enduring. Um, they can be used in different ways. Uh, stones can be removed. Your grandmother's diamond can be reset. Uh, they're just, uh, it's, a, it's a very strong, powerful medium and long-lived. And so it is in this very intimate way that the Patanias have offered their work. What began as a binding family business and listing three generations of artists has strengthened the family bonds of other generations as well. And all this done through the legacy of Patania jewelry. How serendipitous.